I never thought I can get it this hard. Hold up, I'm talking about the plaster. I've been documenting taking mixed media to a new level. This canvas is huge. The face is very neutral, but I want the hands to be super expressive. They should be poking through the canvas, reaching out in anguish. I designed the ribcage and ZBrush and printed it on my filament printer. In less than a day on my Cobra 2, I had a rack of ribs. This has been my first time working with Plaster of Paris. So many people in the comments recommended the plasters they used and how much they liked or disliked this particular product. I simply did my best and then real actual sculptors went in my comments and told me the things that I was doing wrong and gave me critiques that I actually treasured. The whole time my plaster mixture has been kind of weak. I thought I put too much but after letting it dry for 24 hours I came back to it and gave it another layer of slurry. The plaster dried quickly but it did not stick as hard as I like it to. It peeled off like the paint I used to eat off the walls. I saw similar projects online and they used Maj Posh so I gave that a try. I let it fully dry for a couple days and then when the full rack of ribs was done printing I had to think about how am I going to attach it. The Maj Posh actually worked really well and it was quite hard. I only applied it to half of the canvas. The other half was kind of crispy and chunking off. All this plastering is making me hungry so I got some chips. Before I attach the ribs, I want to make sure I paint them. 2-in-1 filler sandable primer. This stuff works great for my 3D prints. It's 102 degrees here in Las Vegas Fahrenheit. It's very dry out here in the desert so that's why I'm doing this project outside. After two coats, I let them dry in the shed overnight. The whole project is going to be painted so I prime the hands so they're not so hot pink and purple anymore. I purchased a roll of multi-purpose wire. Next, I poked some holes into the canvas. I'm using a really sharp file. This wire was really tough so I have to use pliers to bend them. It's people's natural inclination to touch stuff so if they see this project they're gonna want to pull on the bones and stuff so that's why I'm using this really tough wire. I want a single rib hanging out by itself. In the hierarchy of things I want you to see the face then next the ribs. After installing the last rib it's time to mix the plaster. In the comments you told me to use the island technique. Next I added premium wood glue. There was three kinds I chose the middle one. I poured it in and then the beigeness of this glue kind of made everything look like pancake batter once you gave it a stir. With a hammer, I bring my brush back to life. Everything can be solved of violence until a mosquito lands on your balls. I started tapping on this really wet slurry onto the edge of the bones. As every minute passes by, it thickens by 15%. Where the bones meet the canvas, I start to make layers. The gaps start to fill in really fast. On the right side of the canvas, I didn't treat it with Maj Posh, so I'm really brushing it on to see how well it sticks to it. With my fingers crossed, I hope it doesn't chip off. I've been doing this for like 5 minutes and it starts to turn into hummus. Those wires really give me peace of mind. I know the plaster looks kind of sloppy, but it's not sloppy, it's expressive. To me, every emotion is sloppy. Even making love can be sloppy. The bones are done, I'm going to use the rest of it on the face. I'll go over the Maj Posh. Let it dry for 24 hours. Now, I'm impatient, so I came back to it four hours later. I was touching it all over with my fingertips to see how hard it was, and it was really hard. With the blue from the night sky and the warmth of the light, overhead light, it looked majestic. I'll keep you updated.